Today, we're going to talk about logarithms. So a logarithm is just the reverse of exponentiation, meaning you can solve for exponents using logs. So if I have this equation, I want to find x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a logarithm of base b of both sides, like so. When you're solving for x like this, you want to take a logarithm to the base of your exponent, and that's the only way the log and the exponent will cancel out, just leave x. This reads b to what power equals a. And once you get to this form, this is something you can usually just put in the calculator. Generally, this is how a log is written, with b as the base and a as the argument. However, there are two notation exceptions. If b equals 10, we don't write the base here. And if b equals e, then this is the natural log of a. And these are some logarithm rules that you may find useful in solving problems. Some calculators just don't let you put your own base for a log. If you have that problem, then this is how you make a change of base, where x is anything you want it to be. And common picks for x are 10 and e because this is a standard log and this is a natural log. And finally, some graphs you see might have a logarithmic scale like this. The purpose of logarithmic scales are to show values that are super far apart in a more compact manner. The difference is on a logarithmic scale, instead of counting units, we're counting powers of 10. So going like this, each gap is 10 times bigger than the previous one. And that's how you use a logarithm. 